Hey, it's October 11th already. Today I've got the world's first curved display smartphone, tiny little robots that build themselves, video game motion tracking technology, and what the tech. You ever had that experience where someone didn't believe you could pull off a cool idea? Self-assembling robots was the notion. A man named John Romanishin, hope I'm saying that correctly, now holds a research scientist title in MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, whew, where his vision that robots could climb, jump, and move without use of any external moving parts has now been manifested. His former professor didn't think he could pull it off. They are now known as M blocks. They are simple looking and surprisingly simple in the way they work. Built to be in cube form with magnetic sides and corners, they are hollow and, as I mentioned, have no external moving parts. That does not stop them from their most admirable traits. Climbing over and around one another, rolling around on the ground, leaping into thin air, and even moving while suspended upside down. Feisty little robotic guys these are. The one thing contained inside the cube is the flywheel, which can spin at speeds of 20,000 revolutions per minute. The very much existing modular robotics community has been pushing for such a conception. They could do important things in dire situations, with the highest potential for droves of swarming cubes that can self-assemble. More exciting, oh this is my favorite part, is the idea of cube armies repairing or building things like roads or bridges in times of emergencies. If you imagine the liquid steel from Terminator 2 and should come together in your mind easily. That was so bad. I've been working on that impression forever. Imagine them swarming into hostile or unsafe environments for humans to diagnose problems or report back what they have recognized. Or the mobile cubes could like carry cameras, lights, battery packs, and other forms of equipment for those in need. Bam! It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. All you gotta do, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let me drive. See, it's good when I'm not doing it on purpose. Gaming with lag. Unacceptable. Actually shouldn't happen that often in this day and age. However, researchers at a really long name of a place I can't say have devised a motion tracking technology that could eliminate much of the lag that occurs in video games. It has two parts to it, projectors and sensors. A structured pattern, kind of looking like a barcode, is projected over the area to be tracked. Then the sensor units, which are either near the projector or on the object being tracked itself, will then perfectly locate the movements anywhere in that area. LumaTrack brings low latency to the table and is so much faster than your average consumer system with real-time response. It is so precise, dude like with sub-millimeter accuracy, you know? That's really good. It's Finally, the thing is super inexpensive because the sensors require such little power. And that's good because many options already exist for CGI, but they are highly expensive. The developers have targeted games as an initial application for LumaTrack, but know the combo of low latency and cost with that high precision could make for other projects like CGI and human robot interaction. The Nest Protect is the fanciest looking and most expensive smoke detector out there. Imagine a calm female voice alerting you. Heads up, there's smoke in the kitchen. Does that sound better than the panic stricken and sometimes painful sounding smoke detector noises? Nest, whose previous product was their Nest Learning Thermostat, used for accurately adjusting your heating and cooling as it learns when you're away from home, introduced the new Nest Protect. The company was built around the notion that you shouldn't hate on your boring and complicated home sensors. I bet no one thinks of their smoke alarm as anything they care about. A lot of people don't even have a working one in their homes. Here's a stat, nearly two thirds of all fire related deaths occur in homes without a working alarm. Who'd have thunk that? So the industry hasn't responded to that very well. That white plastic puck looking thing is kind of like toilet paper. I mean, it doesn't change much over the years. Progression and such. Rather than loud beeping when smoke is detected, it tells you exactly what and where the smoke is coming from and all you have to do to shut it up is wave your hand at it. The notorious burnt toast dilemma would require such a gesture. Of 
course, if something more serious is happening in your home, Protect gets straight to the point and says the word emergency while sounding a horn. Another perk is it self-tests every 10 minutes, glows green to show it's fine, yellow means either something is being detected or low battery, and naturally red will indicate true emergency. What do you mean, how is it like toilet paper? And now it's time for... What? What? <laughs> Uh, a death wristwatch calculates when you will die, then starts counting down. Well, the thing is called the ticker, how creepy, and could revolutionize how we think about time and life according to their Kickstarter page for it. Rather than motivate doom and gloom, he hopes that the wristwatch will help inspire people to make every second count. How is it not doom and gloom to wear a death watch? It calculates your death by analyzing a questionnaire about the wearer's medical history, then starts the countdown. What? Next is the world's first curved display smartphone from Samsung, called the Galaxy Round. I'll just tell you right now, not only is this thing almost identical in specs to the Galaxy Note 3, literally, it's not going to happen. No, really, it's only launching in South Korea for $1,013 with no plans for U.S. integration in sight, so... Having a curved screen is not the same as having a curved display. As many think the Nexus S was the first of its kind. The Galaxy Round is curved in its screen and the actual display. The curved screen can make thumbing around on your phone's display easier with one hand. A roll effect is a feature that lets you check your notifications just by tilting the screen, and it conforms more to your body. Okay, tilting your phone back and forth to scroll through notifications. I see a lot of overcorrecting and irritation with this. And conforming to my body? Are you talking about wearing it in your back pocket and it feeling like a butt cushion? And now. I seriously just found this. A real life Iron Man suit commissioned by US military. When I saw the movies, I thought this would actually happen one day. Not now though. The army has commissioned a tactical assault light operator suit, which would provide the wearer with superhuman abilities like night vision, enhanced strength and protection from gunfire. Each suit would have its own onboard computer that would be able to instantly respond to certain situations and provide the user with enhanced situational awareness. According to the press release, the suit may use liquid armor. The goal is full body ballistic protection, theoretically allowing the wearer to literally walk through a stream of bullets. The suit would also provide basic life support such as heat, air, and oxygen. Good stuff. Thank you so much for tuning in this week and every week for my dedicated viewers out there. I love you. Remember, every Friday I will be here being me, giving you news. You can always give back by liking and subscribing. It makes me smile. I'm a huge cheese ball. Have a great weekend. Thank <laughs> you.